powerful mates of YouTube, Aussie Marcel here. And before we get into anything, yes, it's a new shirt, so thank you for noticing, and I appreciate all the uh, positive attention on the shirt, so thanks again. Today, we're going to be looking at a relatively new fragrance released in 2022, Abercrombie and Fitch Away Tonight. And I've got a fair bit to say about this one, so if that sounds good to you, let's get into the video. So, like I said in the intro, Away Tonight was released in late 2022, and first impressions are of the cover. It doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. It's kind of... Uh, I don't want to use the word basic. That's sort of like overused in this day and age. But I didn't buy it for the, for the cover photo here. I bought it because at $50 Australian for 3.4 fluid ounces or 100 ml, it's going to represent good value to a lot of people. Even if the fragrance itself may not be ideal for someone, $50 is $50 and a lot of people can afford a $50 fragrance. So if you remove the cover, <clears throat> I much prefer the look of the fragrance without the, the cover or the slip. Blue with a chrome or silver accent. It's kind of like a classy look. And I'll just show you that again. And as for the, uh, the bottle itself, it's in the packaging. I'm a big fan of the design of the bottle because of this nice little touch. So you can't use the fragrance with the, uh, the, the handle up. So you've got to put it down to use it and it's magnetic, it clicks into place. Feels very good. The bottle design, I like it. It's kind of a little sophisticated, it's a little suave. Out of the atomizer you don't get any of the fragrance, so it's not particularly strong, until you spray it that is. <clears throat> I've got a tester strip here. Let's give this a crack. Two sprays. Let it dry down a touch. Now the first time I, I smelt this fragrance, uh, I was in the car with my partner. And I was immediately... It reminded me of something, but I couldn't quite figure out what it was. And I sort of like the uh, the fresh citrus and the uh, the slight earthiness, the slight... It's almost like a, a soily smokiness to it. And then it clicked in my head what it smelt like. And it's not exactly a clone, but it smells very close to Bleu Noir by Narciso Rodriguez for him. Now this is a significantly more expensive fragrance. You're looking at about $120 Australian if you can find it. And that's a big if. This, on the other hand, Away Tonight by Abercrombie & Fitch, $50 Australian. And I gotta say, at first that fresh citrus opening, it kind of smells a little generic, ride it out a little bit, give it a little chance to open up and breathe because once the fresh citrus qualities sort of dial down a little bit, you're left with this very masculine, aromatic, it's almost a soft spicy quality to it. And generally, I'm not a fan of the accord of soft spicy, but this has a, uh, an earthiness and a very subtle smokiness to it. It's mature, it's elegant, it's suave, it's sophisticated. It's uh, for $50 Australian, I would be recommending this all night, all day to blokes over the age of 25. Even if you're under the age of 25 and you want to smell fresh, clean and sophisticated, but you don't want to wear something that's overplayed or overly sweet. You know, a lot of uh, fragrances nowadays, especially aimed towards men, smell very cloying and sweet. This doesn't have that at all. It's got a tiny, tiny bit of like that citrus sweetness. And then you've got that subtle smokiness and earthy quality to it, uh, a peppery quality to it. It smells, it's so refreshing to smell a scent like this in 2023 because it's masculine, it's affordable, and it's very easy to recommend. Yeah, so the closest comparison I could make is to Narciso Rodriguez Bleu Noir. This is a fantastic smelling fragrance. It smells a little like a uh, slightly fresher Terre de Hermes. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, know that I'm Australian and it's the accent. It's just the accent, it's not me. 
<clears throat> Just wanted to take a moment to showcase the bottle design for this. It's got my favorite design of any fragrance I've ever seen. Sort of like a subtle gradient and it's like a matte midnight blue. It looks incredible. It looks dark. And yeah, it smells very close to that. So this is Bleu Noir. Away tonight, Bleu Noir. It, it doesn't even smell like it's of lesser quality. It smells very close to it. Again, I don't think it's supposed to be a clone, but it's uh, close enough for government work, as they say. Bleu Noir has a... It's probably got a more floral quality to it, and that is very light. It's not a heavy floral quality, and it's probably slightly earthier. Away Tonight has a bit more of a fresh citrus vibe in the opening, it's like a zesty, lemon zest kind of uh, citrus accord. And then that sort of gives way to that soft, earthy smokiness. They both smell incredible. I would recommend either of them. But if you can only find a way tonight, this is a beautiful fragrance, especially at the $50 price point. I will be recommending this night and day because for $50, it's the best Abercrombie & Fitch fragrance that I've smelt yet. I prefer it to um, Authentic Night, and I definitely prefer it over Authentic Moment. I really like Authentic Moment and Authentic Night, but Authentic Moment smells identical to Boss Bottled, and that's just like a very common sort of uh, fragrance to be cloned. And Authentic Night, it's got that Baccarat Rouge 540 flavor to it, and that's like trendy at the moment. So if you want something that steers in a more mature, more masculine direction, Away Tonight is the way to go, and that is the easiest recommendation when it comes to these Abercrombie & Fitch fragrances. Check this one out if you're after a masculine scent. Check it out if you want something suave and sophisticated. $50 Australian for 3.4 fluid ounces. It is an easy recommendation. And as far as these fragrance reviews go, it's close to a 10, especially at that price point. If you can get it on sale even cheaper than that, well, you, you lose nothing. So, if you've ever worn Abercrombie & Fitch away tonight, let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know what your thoughts are on these uh, Abercrombie & Fitch fragrances in general. They're pretty popular at the moment. Um, I hope they get more popular because they are very affordable and they all smell fantastic. And uh, yeah, until the next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel and I'll catch you guys around.